Hi guys, welcome back. We are doing another Bible reading today. And also this is our 60th Bible reading. So that's kind of crazy to think about. I'm just getting this real quick. Okay, so we're starting chapter 34 of Genesis and we're going to go verse one through 24. This is called the rape of Dinha. Now Dinha, the daughter of Leah, whom she had borne to Jacob, went out to visit the women of the region. When Shashim, the son of Hamor, the Hivavite, prince of the region, saw her, and he seized her, and lay her with, and lay with her by force. And his soul was drawn to Dinha, daughter of Jacob. He loved the girl and spoke tenderly to her. So Shashim spoke to his father Hamor, saying, "Get me this girl to be my wife." Now Jacob heard that Shishim had defiled his daughter Deaha, but his sons were with his cattle in the field, so Jacob held his peace until they came. And Hamor, the father of Shishim, went out to Jacob to speak with him, just as the sons of Jacob came in from the field. When they heard of it, the man were indignant and very angry, because he had committed an outrage in Israel by lying with Jacob's daughter, for such a thing ought not, ought not to be done. But Hamor spoke with them, saying, The heart of my son Shishim longs for your daughter. Please give her to him in marriage. Make marriages with us. Give your daughters to us and take our daughters for yourselves. You shall live with us and the land shall be open to you. Live and trade in it and get property in it. Shishim also said to her father and to her brothers, Let me find favor with you and whatever you say to me I will give. But the marriage present and gift as high as you like, and I will give whatever you ask me. Only give me the girl to be my wife. The sons of Jacob answered, Shishim and his father Hamor deceitfully, because he had defiled their sister Danah. They said to them, We cannot do this thing to give our sister to one who is uncircumcised, for that would be a disgrace to us. Only on this condition will we consent to you, that you will become as we are, and every young male among you be circumcised. Then he will give our daughters to you, and we will take your daughters for ourselves, and we will live among you and become one people. But if you will not listen to us and be circumcised, then we will take our daughter and be gone. Their words pleased Hamor and, and Hamor's son Shishim. And the young man did not delay to do the thing, because he was delighted with Jacob's daughter. Now he was the most honored of all his family. So Hamor and his son Shishim came to the gate of their city and spoke to the men of their city, saying, These people are friendly with us. Let them live in the land and trade in it. For the land is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters in marriage and let us give them our daughters. Only on this condition will they agree to live among us, to become one people, that every male among us to be circumcised as they are circumcised. Will not their livestock, their property, and all their animals be ours? Only let us agree with them and they will live among us. And all who went out of the city gate heeded Hamor and his son Shishim, and every male was circumcised, all who went out of the gate of his, of his city. Okay. I do not like this story one bit at all, but let's just recap what we just learned. So, Dania, a daughter of Leah and Jacob, was raped by a son of Hamor, a uh, Heatite. So she was raped by force, obviously, that's what rape is. And she has no say. They never ask for a, her opinion. They never ask anything like that. And that's, um, that's what happened. It still happens to this day in certain cultures and certain places of the world. Certain, uh, it happens. Um, where women don't have a say a lot of things. It happens sometimes. It should not happen. It's very wrong. And I'm just going to stop there because it's just wrong in general. Um, but it does happen. And especially back then, this was just the way things happened. The rape didn't... Rape happens on, like, probably more times than we think it did. But this shouldn't have happened this should not have happened the only reason he became fond of dinia is because he raped her and we don't know why he raped her he just did just because just because he wanted to and i don't think that's right at all um 
and I think it should stop everywhere because there's no reason for that. There's absolutely none. You're giving, it can happen to women or men, but in this case, it happened to a woman um, and it shouldn't happen at all. Um, and she never asked for her opinion on what happened or if she wants to marry him or any of these things. She probably doesn't. I could be wrong, but she probably doesn't. Um, and they say, we'll let you decide what you want to do. And they basically say, oh, if you get circumcised, yep, you can do it. If you give us your daughters, you can do it. So, like, the women and girls are just seen as objects, possessions, whatever. Women and children, women to bear children, basically. That's basically all they see. The women in this story is what I, I'm seeing. And for pleasure and whatever. So, I do not like it one bit. It's disgusting. But it's in the Bible for us to see and look at. And it's in here because it's a story. Um, to teach us things, obviously. And I think that we should learn from this to maybe ask a woman's opinion before you decide her fate. Um, maybe, like, actually talk to the woman to see what happened, because they probably don't know that he raped her at all. Who knows? They probably didn't know because she didn't say anything, because she probably wasn't allowed to say anything. She probably was scared to say something, like, most of the time. Um, so, I just, I don't like it at all. But, yeah, he just, they basically, like, traded daughters and said, yep, you could have these girls, I'll have your girls, and there we go for marriage. And they just, they just go along with it. I would not like to live in this world at all. I'm thankful for the world I live in now and the place I live in in the world that these things don't happen to us as often. So, these things hardly happen now where I am. They do happen probably more than we think just because you have to catch them first before they happen and they do happen but that's why you have to be aware of what's going on around you you have to be aware of your surroundings at most of the time if you're in a group that's way better than being by yourself but if you do end up by yourself somewhere you have don't be on your phone don't be looking like you're not paying attention like pay attention if someone approaches you stand up for yourself defend yourself if someone starts to hurt you like that that is what you should do obviously because if someone is trying to hurt you and trying to take you and trying to rape you kidnap you whatever and you don't want them to you gotta say no and stand up for yourself and try to defend yourself and scream and all that stuff for help but I went on a little bit of a tangent there just because I hate this story just disgusts me but um I'll end with that I just be safe this goes for guys and girls too like guys can get kidnapped too for other things so guys and girls defend yourself against each other and make sure you can trust people but don't trust blindly if something seems wrong or suspicious, ask and figure it out before you just willingly do something because you never know what it is sometimes. So just be aware, be safe, and that's where we will end today with those thoughts and things. If you'd like to say anything else about um, this story or whatever you think. Um, so we will... And uh, we will end chapter 34 tomorrow. And I'm going to leave you off with that. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another Bible reading. So bye guys.